Birdies, it's Angela here, and today's video is going to be the unboxing for the May 2021 Potomac Bead Box subscription box, the Best Bead Box XL version, which is the larger of the two boxes uh, for the subscription. If you have the um, XL box, you're going to receive two patterns with two complete kits to make the pattern. Everything you need is inside to make the pattern um, other than the, you know, tools and whatever beading string you use. But um, you will get two patterns with everything you need to complete those patterns. And also you will receive a third bonus pattern, which the bees don't come with it, but it is, I love to have the patterns. So this is again, the Potomac Bees Best Bead Box XL. This month's um, theme is Seaside Zen. I already love the name of it. I love anything sea related. So um, it says they give you a little message here. You know, take some time for yourself this month, and you can pause the video and read that if you'd like. Um, I will put a link to their website down below. So if you're interested in checking out their subscription boxes and what they have to offer, you can very well do that. Um, in the box, you will see again they have two different patterns. They're going to show you everything that included that you need for those patterns and I will say that I do love the fact that everything is in its own bag that you need so you don't have to dig around and try to figure out what's supposed to go for what and then they also include beads for your stash okay so let's see I have not opened this up to look through it but I do see the two bags for the kits and it looks like this month we have a yoga bracelet now, I do see the patterns are a lot smaller in size um, than they used to be. So, that may be hard and difficult for some people that have a hard time seeing. Um, I tend to read through it, but I usually like to watch the YouTube tutorials as well or follow along. So, you also have that option as well if you're not into following paper patterns or you can't get everything that you need from here. You can kind of watch and follow along and before you even start to do it just to see what's the best way to use it. So it looks like we have a yoga bracelet pattern that we're going to have everything we need to make this. And we also have crystal tassel cap earrings that we will have everything we need to make these earrings. And then our bonus pattern is a luminous necklace. And so they do tell you everything that you need to make this pattern and if you don't have it already in your stash you can always go to Potomac Beads and order from them or wherever you want to get your beads from. So the first thing we're going to look at is, let's see, I see ear wires in this so this must be the earring. I'm going to move this off to the side for a minute and we're going to see what we need for the yoga bracelet and like I said everything is in here. Oh, they even included the cord. That's really nice. And this is a it looks like a new new dragon cord by B B Tech. So it says this is a new Tech 210 uh, half 0.5 millimeter cord, um, uh, medium weight, and made from quality three ply nylon cord that can be used for a lot of different projects. And even better, it's made in the USA. So that's really nice they included that uh, string of material. All right, so it looks like we're going to need, and I'm probably not going to open most of these beads. I hope that you can see them through the baggies. Um, it's just I don't want to lose everything. <laughs> but we do have some beautiful Potomac Crystal Bicones, 4 millimeter in size. You're going to need approximately 20 of them for the bracelet. And that mine came in the color of light, light sapphire AB, a beautiful blue, which is my absolute favorite color. And birthstone, actually. I'm a September baby. So those are really pretty. Love the blue. We have some O beads, which my O beads came in the crystal Labrador full, which is awesome. Loving the blue and the silver so far. And if you see the pattern of the bracelet, it looks like we have like some tortoise shell, um, some blues and silvers, which is really awesome. Definitely beachy themed. We have some three millimeter rounds. You need about approximately 20 pieces. Mine came in the color of turquoise. And we're gonna need some four millimeter rounds. Mine came in the color of tortoise fantastic 
again, I'm really, I think these are probably my favorite colors so far that they, they've given in a kit, combination colors. And then we're gonna need some, whoops, some natural wood rondelles, three by five millimeter, that's these. These are like a nice dark mahogany wood color. That's super cool. I think that's the first time I've seen wooden beads in one of the subscription boxes since I've been getting them. And then we have some, um, the bead cord, we got that. And then we have a pewter button for our clasp to finish off our bracelet. Neat. And then also a couple of little starfish charms. And that's all we need to make this really pretty bracelet. And I'm kind of interested in uh, making this one for sure. Um, I, sometimes I get, I put them off to the side and I, I have a bunch of projects that I really need to go back and do from Potomac. But um, this one I'm kind of excited about doing. So hopefully I'll get to do this one soon and I can get to come back and show it to you when it's finished. So that was the first pattern. The second pattern is for crystal tassel cap earrings. And it says that we are going, ooh, love these colors too. More blues and teals. All right, so it looks like we're going to need um, 10 pieces of six millimeter disco balls. Ooh, I love those. Look at those disco balls. Got a faceting on those. I can open this one. This one's got a resealable baggie. <laughs> and this is in the color of Bluezer Coin AB. Those are beautiful. It's got that disco ball cutting, which is like tons of little multi facets on those balls so that they um, really play off the light and give you a lot of sparkle and shine. Those are beautiful. Love that color. Then we have some two millimeter rounds. Let's see. Or bicones. Okay, so they sent me, I was about to say, I don't have, I have bicones in two millimeter, but this is the jet black. Two millimeter bicones. Again, beautiful combination with that blue zircoin and that jet black. And then we have some seed beads. So we have some 11 O's and 15 O's. My 11 O came in the blue zircoin. Perfect match for those. And then my 15 O's came in a gilt line silver. So again, perfect combination of those blacks and blues, blacks and teals. And then we have two two tassel pieces, and mine are in the color of a cotton light blue, 18 millimeter tassels. And then we also received some ear wires. So we're gonna need two pieces. What I like about Potomac is, I always say that, Potomac is um, also that they usually give you enough to have extra pieces. So they give you four ear wires, even though you're only gonna need two. So that's nice, you got an extra pair of those. All right, so I'm gonna put all of those contents back in my little baggie because I wanna keep everything together. And if I don't get to them right away, um, I have a drawer where I can keep my um, pattern and my little package all together, just staple it together, and then you can just pull out a project when you wanna work on something. That's why I, I really like the, the fact that they um, do that. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one. And I have some little ear stoppers. They were clear in the bag. I didn't even see them off to the side. I went to move the bag and I was like, oh wait, there's something in there. So they also gave you some um, stoppers for the back of the ear wires. Very nice, they thought of everything. Cause they don't have to include that kind of stuff. I mean, not everybody, you know, thinks about that. All right, and then our bonus pattern, like I said, is the luminous necklace. Here is a list of the things that you would need to make this really pretty bonus pattern. And it doesn't look very difficult. So that's really nice too, I like that. All right, now we're gonna get into our beads for our stash. The first thing, it says we have some piggy beads. 4.5 grams of piggy beads. These are really cute. They're kind of like, the um, holes are kind of on top of each other and drilled off to the side. They're not dead center. Um, I have not really worked with piggy beads much, but mine came in this jade color. Those are cool. We have some four grams of pewter round beads in six millimeter. All right, pewter round, I'm looking. Let's see. In six millimeter, is that? No, that's not bad. Let's see. Okay, here we go. 
yeah. We have some pewter beads, six millimeter. These are really nice. It's the ribbed, uh, ridged beads. Those are really nice. I like those. So you get 10 beads in that little bag of six millimeter pewter beads. Then we have four check glass fossil shell beads. That would be these. Oh, these are really nice. Mine are in a pearl, uh, not pearl, pale turquoise. Um, travertine so they're 18 millimeters oh that is so pretty absolutely love those those are gorgeous all right and then we have 12 grams of check glass rondelles okay i just saw some more rondelles is that i saw them and i lost them that quick Let's see. That's Rondeos. I'm looking for my little rondelles because I thought I just saw them. These are round duos. Now I'm looking for rondelles. <laughs> oh, is this them? Yes, six by nine. Um, they're bigger than I thought. I was looking for something smaller. Ooh, these are pretty. This color is Crystal Travertine. Ooh, those are neat. And they're six by nine millimeters in size. That's a nice amount of those, too. Very, very pretty. Love those. And then we have some Miyuki Delica beads in 11O, which are these. Mine are in a black. The black delicas definitely um i love the shine these delicas put off they're really pretty definitely a nice staple to have in the black very useful and then we have some we have four grams of check glass cali beads okay i gotta look for cali beads because i am not 100 percent sure what cali beads look like that's these oh these are a three hole bead okay and I also got these in a um, jade color. Same thing as the Peaky Beads. These are Cali Beads, and I had no idea. The three hole beads. Neat, different shape and something different to work with. And then there's one glass cabochon that is 20 millimeters. Now I have to say, I'm not always a huge, oh, I'm not a huge um, cabochon person because I don't know what to do with them much other than like the bead embroidery around them. This is beautiful. This is a coral reef. Look at that. It's got the fish and the coral. Oh, that's so pretty. Now this is definitely needs a setting of some sort to really bring out that coral reef. That is beautiful. The coral reef. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Like, like, like. That, that reef would look really pretty with the... Uh, these nautical beads. I don't know how to... I, if y'all have some ideas on what to do with these um, cabochons, I would love to hear your ideas in the description box below because I, we get them quite often and I just never really know what to do with them. Although most of the time we get them, they're floral. I am loving this sea-themed one with the coral reef. That's awesome. All right. Um, and then we have some pewter daisy spacers which again a great staple to have it's just a few little daisy spacers in here and the pewter silver which i'm glad they're silver i use silver more than any other metal type so that's very handy to have we get two grams of potomac crystal drops in three by five millimeter oh these are nice metallic blue iris love um love that shiny metallic that beautiful, rich blue. Those are stunning. Love those drops, too. Those are really, really pretty. Then we have, let's see, 4.5 grams of Storm Duo beads, which are going to be these. And I got them in a hmm, jet red luster metallic. I'm not seeing red. I'm just seeing green, which is, I guess, maybe... That's why they turn green because of the red luster over the jet. Probably would make sense. But those are the Storm Duos, and they are two hole bead. Very pretty. 
Then we have one gram of Mufi Sharp Triangles. Oh, that sounds interesting. I don't think I've seen that either. Sharp Triangles. Well, would you look at that? Mine are in a matte, pati matte, matte patina. And they are, sure enough, little triangle beads. They almost look square, but they're not like, oh, you can see them real good right there. See how they triangles? That is so cool, but they're so tiny. Never seen these before. If you've seen these and used these, let me know how you use them. That's really cool. I like the um, matte metallic color, though. And then we have some Rizzo beads, which are... Should be these, yeah. Rizzo beads. These are um, Crystal Labrador Full is the color that I received. They are top drilled at the, at the top right here. And they are like little drops. Little drop beads. Like the little shape of a little teardrop. Those are cute. We have some three millimeter round duo mini beads. These are little in mine are in just a basic jet black. Again, nice neutral shape, uh, staple color. Black goes with everything. And these are a two hole bead. I know it's very going to be very hard to see that even if I took them out of the bag because they're black. <laughs> but they are a two hole bead and these are the mini round duos. Okay, and then we have some tulip beads, and mine are in Aztec gold, which I kind of find strange, just because everything else is kind of like black and blues and silver. Uh, not that I'm complaining, because it's really cool. Now, you see, we already have um, one of the beads that we would need to make this bonus pattern. The tulip beads are one of the items in here. There's also some little, little round seed, uh, bees and some 11 O's and 15 O's and a drop pair. So you really don't need a whole lot for this bonus pattern. Probably if you go through your boxes in the past, you may have already received some of the other pieces that you need. That does happen as well. Then we have four pewter bead frames, which are these. These are really nice. I love to use these and put crystals or gemstones in between when you string them. It would be a nice focal in a bracelet with them, uh, either some little crystals or like I said, a nice round gemstone in the middle. So those are nice bead frames and they give you four of them. So you can make a bracelet matching earrings. That's really cool. And then, um, oh, where did I miss this? I missed some. Okay, all right. Last month, um, they sent a pattern, and normally Potomac is very, very good about giving you way more than you need. Uh, a lot of people ran out of some of the seed beads, so they send in this gift as a special thank you for subscribing to the box. I think this was because a lot of people ran out. That's that's what I'm thinking. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe it is just a. Thank you gift. I'm not really sure. But this is the galvanized apricot gold. And that's a really pretty, pretty gold. Different seed bead. Really nice. So I like those. That was a little bonus. Like I said, I, I don't know if it was because of that or if not just a free gift or whatever. Either way, it's nice to have them. And then we got a bead stopper. This is so useful. This is great for when you need to, if you have a piece of uh, cord or a piece of wire and you need to stop off one end i have some bead buddies that i use all the time so it's nice to have extra ones because you're always hunting around this is the ones i have and this is nice to um it's always nice to have multiples if you want to make a multi-strand multi bracelet and you want to keep them all together and line them out it holds them off so you don't lose your beads on the end so that's definitely a very useful tool in fact i'm going to put it i'm going to go ahead and put it right now into my little bag <laughs> of bead stoppers so that i can know where it's at so that is the contents of this month's best bead box xl i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and click on subscribe if you haven't already also click on that notification bell when it appears so that you can be notified each time i upload a new video to youtube um, I, again, as I always say, I really do enjoy each one of your comments, so please leave me a comment below letting me know maybe which pattern you um, was your favorite or which beads were your favorite. Again, if you have any ideas of using any of these specialty beads, I would love to hear that as well. 
So, um, I look forward to reading your comments. And until the next video, guys, bye.